Welcome to this really special video, special because I am back in Germany. I'm actually here in Bremen for a full day of thrifting, hitting up all my favorite stores. I'm aiming for 11 stores, not sure if that is possible, but we're gonna be trying to go to as many as possible. We, as in my husband and I, he's with me for the day. He actually took the day off, which is really nice of him to come along with me. And you wanna say hi? <laughs> so yeah, we're on our way to the first store and we should be there in a few minutes and I'm really excited because let's just be honest, the thrift stores here usually have more to offer than the one in the Netherlands. So just hoping for the best. The first thing that caught my eye was this mug. If I had a warehouse, I would totally buy all the mugs I find and love, but alas, I just have a small office and need to be picky with what I get. Then I turned my fat lava antennas on to scan for potential West Germany vases and score. Well. This technically is East German, but fat lava it is, so in the basket it goes. Oh my, this gigantic vase. I don't know how I didn't even spot this from the outside, but I got so excited. I checked the top, the bottom, inside to make sure it had no cracks, but it was in great condition and had a great price. This set was so nice and I'm still looking for my perfect soup terrine and matching bowls, but there were no bowls, just soup plates and for 20 euros I didn't feel like picking it up at that moment. This drip glaze candlestick holder was cute, but it had a chip on the lower rim. Fully quiet and slow. I try my best to move on. I had spotted these 70 soup bowls from the outside already. I did decide to leave them, but they are a great set for sure. I very much like this set as well. It looked very Eastern European to me. Such a stunning design. Suda showed me this teapot, which is the Praktika series by Zetman Weiden, but these don't have a lot of resale value. They were used in hotels a lot back in the day. This French speckle teapot, however, did catch my attention though, but I ended up leaving it because it had a couple very small chips on the inside and it had a lot of crazing and the material felt a little bit thin, so I was unsure whether this would actually hold up if you poured really hot liquids in there still. These little dishes were nice and there was a whole set of them. They look like souffle dishes, but I didn't feel like picking them up. I love this Melita soup bowl set. I love Melita dishes in general, but the design was already scratched in quite a few places.
I then focused my attention on the glass. This little vase didn't look so interesting. But this one did. Mouth blown, marbled. I love that rusty color. There was another one, but the quality didn't seem as great because there were lots of bubbles in the glass and they were not there on purpose. The first thing I noticed here was the Christmas stuff. I was surprised to see it out this early, but I feel like a lot of thrift stores put it out earlier this year, maybe because they're afraid of another lockdown, which might happen. No, no, no. This is their more expensive case. They had quite a few beautiful Kaiser bisque vases in there, but I didn't have the time to check comps online and they wanted 15 euros a piece, so I left them there. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer. I finally found a set of wooden birthday rings. These had been on my wish list forever. I totally forgot to show them in the haul portion. I paid two euros and the set was still brand new in packaging. Then I was quickly distracted by their box of free stuff, but there wasn't really anything interesting in there for me. This is my favorite shelf in the store. It is filled with vases and ceramics and I spent quite some time going through it all that day. This vase was unfortunately chipped. Afraid, but I'm then Sudas came along with this. Like what? I knew right away that this was by because it is so typical of their style and it's fantastic. I'm still in awe that it was just sitting there. Back to my little shelf. I was still not done yet, but the by vase was a great distraction. The seasons come and they go. But I hope you know that I This had me really sad because it had a big chip on the rim. The glaze was so lovely. I had initially put this platter in my basket and then I took it out. I don't even remember why. I should have totally gotten it. I really tried opening this cabinet, but it just wouldn't open. I thought that the shell shaped vase in there looked really cool, but yeah, the lock just didn't budge. This was interesting, but I have no idea what it was. It looked like a trinket box with a lid, but it had a drainage hole. And then I saw this. Oh my goodness. In the hall, you'll hear me say Polish pottery, but I found out that the most of the pieces I picked up are mostly East German, made in the Lausitz, which is actually where my mom was born and raised. I had a hard time picking and choosing what to get and what to leave behind. Sudas also spotted this fat lava tea warmer by Steuler. It was in really great condition and for 4 euros I took it home with me. I totally forgot to show it in the haul portion later on, but this is such a great piece. Uh -huh. 
These egg holders were nice, but they were not made of real copper. It was just an overlay. These dishes I could have gotten, but I didn't. They would make great little kitchen containers. Sudas also showed me this candlestick holder and it looked a little like it was in the style by Gerhard Liebenthron, but they had stuck felt on the bottom and I couldn't see whether it actually was or not. This was the best thrift trip of my entire life so far. I'm in shock. Before I'm getting into the actual haul portion, I want to announce that I'm currently running a 20% off sale in my web shop. So everything there is 20% off because I gotta make some room because I found so much stuff. My husband and I went thrifting in Bremen where we used to live up until about six months ago and we went to 10 thrift stores in one day and I found so much stuff. It's incredible. This is going to be a four-part series. The first store that I went to I actually got three items and I was so happy. I was like yes if I find three items at every store I have like 30 items maybe a little bit more. Oh boy. <laughs> I got so much more than that, but starting off with the first store. So I'm having to grab this behind me. The first thing I spotted at the store, and I mean, how good can a thrift trip start off, is this fat lava vase. So I actually have not, oh no, it is actually marked Schreudig. I wanted to say, I have not looked up whether this is Schreudig or not. I assumed it was, but it is marked Schreudig. On the bottom, it's really in great condition. This 45 centimeters high. And it is just a brown fat lava vase. It is beautiful. This one I paid 10 euros for, so that is a very good price for such a nice floor vase. And pretty much everything I'm showing you is going to be in my Etsy shop, with a very few exceptions throughout all those videos that I'm going to share and mention if it's for myself. Then I found this very likely Italian hand blown, mouth blown, whatever you want to call it, glass vase. It's a case glass vase, so you can see that the inside is white. It has this really nice swirly pattern and this, I would say, almost kind of ombre effect and this very nice warm reddish color. Yeah, it's it's really good quality. The third and last item I found at the first shop is this vase. So this actually is a fat lava vase. It is dark blue fat lava. It is by Strela. So Strela is an East German manufacturer, what well, was, of ceramics. And it actually has a couple chips here and there, which I don't mind. I love Strela. A lot of their ceramics are just so nice and beautiful. So I had to pick it up. I think it was only two euros or something. It's marked, I think, 7309. And it actually says import, which is funny because um, it was probably imported from East to West Germany when they were divided. But yeah, if nobody wants to buy it with those chips, I don't mind keeping it. That's what I do with a lot of things. If it's not in good condition, I'll just keep it. I mean, look at all the stuff behind me. The second shop is one that I've been to once before. And I also filmed a thrift with me there. And it was great this time. I mean, amazing. I found so many things there. And that's when I started getting really just shook how much good stuff they have at those stores. Starting off with this little guy. Oh, that is my blouse. <laughs> Starting off with this little guy. This is a vase. And I originally thought at first it might be Scheurich, just because of the pattern. They have similar ones, but I was kind of like, hmm, is it? But I did look it up. This is by AK Ceramics, Alfred Klein. I have one of his other vases, so this one was there. It's, it's still in very good condition. It's brown, but it has this beautiful, very kind of ethnic-looking print that was probably in for a while in the 70s because a lot of manufacturers of ceramics have those kinds of types of prints. Then I found, well, no. Then my husband found one of the most beautiful vases I've ever seen. It's not the most beautiful one, I have to say, because that one's probably going to come in part three, because that is just the most epic thing I've ever found. I digress. He found this one. It is so stunning. It's by Bai or Bay, B-A-Y, but yeah, I always say Bai. It's so beautiful. This one is 25 centimeters high. It's marked 9325. It's in perfect condition. It has no chips, no cracks, no nothing. It is stunning and it's one of those bases where I'm like, do I sell it? Do I keep it for myself? I think I'll be selling it. Um, it it's just gorgeous. The color is the blue and it's kind of this olive color on the inside. Still has the original sticker on it. 
And I'm so proud of him that he found this because he doesn't really know things about vintage and that kind of stuff. But just because I've been showing him stuff, he does recognize some of those ceramics that are just like in your face, 70s West Germany. And he knows like the markings and the numbers like a little bit. He can recognize that it's something good. And it was just five euros. Can you believe it? <sighs> I love this face. This is a little pitcher vase, jug vase by Scheurich. Um, yeah, it's not marked Scheurich, but I looked it up. 411 18 so it's 18 centimeters tall it's really nice beautiful for neutral homes but also colorful ones who just kind of want to mix it up i really like it and for two euros i just i just couldn't say no i also found a planter and i think that is the only planter that i found during this whole trip i believe that is okay i still have quite a few to sell i am not sure who made this this is a really um, very hard to read marking. It's either 7006-16 or 15 or I don't really know. I still have to kind of try to figure out who made it. But it's just this kind of very typical kind of lava red color with this ombre rim. It's pretty. It's from the 1970s. Definitely 100% West German. And yeah, I always love picking up those planters. I think they were just so beautiful back in the day and they're just some of my favorite things to pick up. They had a lot, and you saw that in the video, a lot of Polish pottery there. So I've never picked up and sold Polish pottery before. My mom actually had quite a collection because my parents are originally from East Germany. The first item is this candle holder. It is so stunning. I love the design, the blue like more well white but it's more cream this one was actually 150 and then i got this little pitcher or pitcher vase that one was three euros and that one has kind of a marking that's kind of hard to read it definitely says k-i-l like kill then it says something underneath and it has a number but i still have to figure out what that exactly is but i also really like this one then I also got a set, and I think I paid five euros for the whole set, of six goblets. I'm showing you two, they're all the same. Those six beautiful goblets, they are so stunning. And I love that they're not just the blue and white polish, but they also have some brown and yellow and like the navy, typical dark blue, but also some light blue in there. So these are really nice, a really nice set. And the one last Polish pottery item that I found at the store is this face. I also like this one. It looks like this had a marking at some point. It has like some blue swish on the bottom, so I'm not sure if this is a mistake in the glaze or if that used to be some marking that has faded over time. I'm not really sure, but I also like this. I mean, I could have picked up everything, but that was just the second store I went to. So I was kind of like, mm, I don't think I want to pick up everything yet because I had a certain budget. And it's good because at the end, I literally just was just within my budget because I found so much stuff at all the other stories as well. Moving on, I have a set of three, and that's kind of a bummer that it's not four, but I'll take three, of three of those egg holder cups. They are cream and speckled, and we all know I have no speckled pottery, and I paid one euro for all three of them. And they are Bavarian ceramics. They are Winterling, which is quite well known. And they're really nice. Then I also have this vase, and I love this scalloped detail. Those kind of two scalloped lines, they make it look so cool. This was two euros, by the way. And it is marked, but it is so hard to read the marking. It looks like it's four letters, or sorry, it looks like it's four numbers, but they're not that well worked into the clay so it's definitely a guessing game so i don't know if i'll be able to figure it out but just because it's four numbers i think this might be marai because marai is m-a-r-e-i that's how you spell it they actually do mark their things like this so might be but i still have to figure out whether it is but i do really really like this one if you like this video make sure to check out these ones here on the side i have a video and a playlist linked here if you like thrifting make sure to also subscribe because i post a new video about that every single week thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one have a great day bye